Little Red Writing by Joan Holub. Pictures by Melissa Sweet. Little Red Writing. Write often and carry a big notebook. Once upon a time in pencil school, a teacher named Miss Two told her class, today we're going to write a story. Story path. One, idea, character, setting. Two, trouble. Three, even bigger trouble. Four, fix the trouble. Yippee, said the birthday pencil. Slammin', said the basketball pencil. Sharp, said Little Red. I want to write a happy story, said the birthday pencil. I'm going to do a nonfiction story about the great state of Pennsylvania, said the state pencil. I'll write about sports, said the basketball pencil. I want to write a story about bravery because red is the color of courage. But what would a brave pencil do, wondered Little Red. Go on a journey through the school, meet unusual characters, fight evil, save the day. Miss Two gave Little Red a basket of 15 red words to use in case she ran into trouble. Remember, it's okay to wander a little, but stick to your basic story path so you don't get lost. Okie dokie, said Little Red. Little Red opened her notebook and began. Once there was a brave red pencil who went on a journey. As she walked along, walking is boring, decided Little Red. She wanted her story to be exciting. She went to the gym and was quickly drawn into action. Swing, twist, throw, catch, jump verb action fitness program she bounced she boogied then she cartwheeled right off the page and into watch out for adjectives on path a deep dark descriptive forest deciduous green verdant greener greenest shadow flowery dense mossy squirrely dark piney deep bosky russet leafy Ah, scissors, I need to cut through all this description and stick to the story path. Need help sticking to your story path? Well, you have come to the right place, pencil, because I'm full of words that have stick to itiveness. They'll stick up for you and stick by you, but they aren't stuck up like that tape guy down there. Conjunction glue, said a voice from the supply closet. Little Red squeezed the bottle. Too many glue words came out, so that is how she found herself writing a sentence that would not end but just kept going and going and running on and on. And although it had no purpose yet, it would not get out of her story or say anything important. So she was glad when a helpful word arrived. Suddenly, and it brought some friends, adverbs, we deliver speedily. Suddenly, abruptly, surprisingly, she heard a strange sound, which she decided required all capitals and rather large punctuation. Grrrr. It was the middle of her story where something exciting should happen. And it did. That growly sound chased her, abandoning all the rules of punctuation and sentence structure 
Her In her panic to escape, Little Red began running on and on and on, and she grabbed random nouns from her word basket, tossing them out to fill up the chasm of blank space nothingness, which was all that stood between her and that grr. Then hooray, finally, at last, the page was full, and she could leave the horrid sound behind and go to brick, lipstick, maple leaf, fire truck, caboose. Fire hydrant, cardinal, stop sign, rose, strawberry, toadstool, and go to the next page. But as the page turned, Little Red couldn't help noticing a long, tangly tail disappear around the corner. Was that tail up to no good? A truly brave pencil would follow it. To find out, she thought. She decided to tail that tail and wound up trailing it around the entire page of her story. Eventually, it led her all the way to the next page and went into... The principal's office. Principal granny office. Pencil school rules. When in doubt, see something, say something, help others. Little Red knocked on the door. Come in. Oh, said a growly voice. So it'd be like, come in, said a growly voice. Greetings, little pencil. Great to see you, said Principal Granny. Little Red was suspicious. I'd like to report a hearing, I'd like to report hearing a growly voice. And you know what? It sounded kind of like yours, said Little Red. The better to be heard on the school intercom, said Principal Granny. I'd also like to report that I saw a long, tangly tail. I can't help noticing that you have a tangly tail, too. The better to get charged up for my school duties when my batteries are running low, said Principal Granny. I'd also like to report I have just noticed what big, sharp, teeth you have, said Little Red. The better to chomp little pencils like you and grind them up, growled Principal Granny, who in reality was dun, 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 the Wolf 3000, the grumpiest, growliest, grindingest pencil sharpener ever made. Just as the Wolf 3000 began to chase Little Red in walked Mr. Woodcutter, the janitor. Who made this mess? Help, cried Little Red. I think the Wolf 3000 has sharpened Principal Granny to smithereens. Mr. Woodcutter fainted. It was up to Little Red to stop the Wolf 3000's rampage. She reached into her word basket. There was only one red noun left. What it do the trick? She took aim and threw. Dynamite. Whoa, come bluey. That was a close shave. Good thing that brave little pencil came along to save the day, said Mr. Woodcutter. Luckily, Principal Granny was all right, though her life had been somewhat shortened by her experience with the Wolf 3000. I wasn't really brave. I was scared, said Little Red. Even heroes get scared, dear, but they do brave deeds anyway. You are a hero in my book, replied Principal Granny. 
Little Red zoomed back to her classroom just in time to hear the other pencils share the stories they had written. And that's the story of the happiest birthday party ever. The Adventures of the Wright Brothers. The artist challenged them to a draw. Then Pencil and Gretel ate the candy. He was very tall. The fat, oh, the first patient for a pencil with an eraser was issued. Oh, no, no, no. The first patent for a pencil with an eraser was issued in Philadelphia. We wrote a story together using teamwork. We're number one. Get a grip, said the pencil. Then it was her turn. Once there was a brave red pencil. Good job, Little Red. Right on, Miss Two. The end. Careful, book edge ahead. Pencil School News. Today we celebrate Right On Day. What's your story? We get to the point. National Pencil Day is March 30th. Little Red Writing by Joan Holub. Pictures by Melissa Sweet. <laughs>